Have you ever been curious to know what your suspension looks like while you're driving? Well, I was. So I put my GoPro under the car. I have my GoPro pointed at the rear tire. And I have my GoPro pointed at the uh, front tire. I have drove on the freeway, the street, and off-road. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, here are some of the suspension components we're looking at. Bump stop, here's your shock, here's your leaf spring, your rear axle, and your stabilizing bar. Just in case you wanted to know, here's your rear differential and your brake line. I'm going to start out by showing you what the suspension looks like on the freeway first. Driving on the street versus driving off-road, it's night and day as far as how hard your shock has to work. No wonder why the more off-roading you do, the faster your shock goes out. This is another reason why you should always get a heavy-duty shock if you're going to do any off-roading. Looking at all three of them together, you get a real good idea of just how the suspension works. On the street and freeway, not that much movement, therefore it's a very smooth ride. On the other hand, off-road, a lot of up and down movement, that's why the, the ride is so rough. Probably about three to five times harder your suspension is working. I was driving a little faster than I normally would in off-road, but I wanted to see all the suspension components really working. I wanted to see the shock going all the way in, all the way out. I wanted to see the bump stop doing its job. I wanted to see my axle traveling up and down. I wanted to see the rear stabilizing bar working, and I just wanted a good all-around view of what happens, so that's why I was going a little faster than normal. Watching the inner and outer tie rod move the steering knuckle as you see the drive axle turning inside, it looks pretty cool. Even driving off-road, the front suspension doesn't move as much as the rear. Makes sense to me now why I would have to change the rear shocks out faster than the front. Here is a video of the front and rear suspension driving over the same road. And like I said earlier, you can see how the rear has a lot more movement in it than the front does. Right here, it sounds like my engine is struggling and that's because my catalytic converter went out right here it actually got so hot that it melted the clamp that i had that i was using to hold the gopro which you'll see in a second i have my cell phone paired with my gopro so i can see what the gopro is video recording and right as i drive over this rock that jar plus the catalytic converter 
going out is what made the GoPro fall. This video is pretty interesting for me to make. Uh, it was kind of cool looking at what the suspension goes through on and off the street. Um, as usual, I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Sure to answer. You guys have a good one.